You're running the secondary break with C.L. Brown after North Carolina's 80-72 loss to Miami. Now, they've already turned the lights off at the Smith Center, but it's about to be lights out on North Carolina's tournament hopes. This represented the chance to get a quality win, and Carolina right now has none of the quad one variety thanks to Ohio State season going south. That had been their one quad one win throughout the year, but now that's falling down a tier. And uh, Miami was a chance to kind of regain their footing after that three game losing streak, but they came up short. And the reason, five of 31 from three point range, a new season low of just 16% shooting from three. This coming on the heels of Saturday's win over Clemson where they made 15 three pointers. They didn't make any excuses. They didn't say it was fatigue or anything. I mean, there was plenty of time from a two o'clock game on Saturday to a 7 p.m. game Monday night to feel well rested. Miami switched it up on Carolina defensively. In the first half, Carolina got 26 points in the paint. They were able to, despite shooting just one of 11 from three point range, Carolina still shot 51% from the field because they made 14 of 18 baskets inside the arc. Miami switched up their defense in the second half, collapsed basically, dared Carolina to shoot from outside, and Carolina came up short. They didn't have any makes. Now, RJ Davis led the team with 23 points. Caleb Love had 20. Armando Baycott had 12. Leaky Black even had double figures with 13. Pete Nance is the one guy that they have to get going, or if Hubert Davis goes to the bench. Puff Johnson, also someone they have to get going. But both Nance and Johnson combined to go 0 for 7 from three-point range. Carolina is running out of time. I mean, here we are, the end of February. They'll have games at NC State and Virginia, which right now still represent quad one opportunities to win. And possibly Duke is right there at the line, 30, uh, 30, 31 line where the final regular season game could be a quad one opportunity. But as of right now, I'd probably say Carolina might be on the outside looking in of the NCAA tournament. And that's something we never probably thought was gonna be possible returning four starters from a team that won, that reached the NCAA championship. But there's still time left to be played. That's what the player said after the game, even though Armando Baycott said he was quote, stressed the hell out worrying about their NCAA tournament opportunities. But we will check back on Sunday when Carolina travels to NC State to see if they can come up with that win. That'll do it for the secondary break. Please click on those like buttons. If you're watching this on uh, Instagram, please click on that subscribe button if you're watching me on YouTube.